So I went on this date with this fine ass nigga I met at Apache Cafe. He stood six six tall, skin browner than clay, gold teeth thick, head full of weight. His eyes were so dim, I called him choosing from a mile away. I smiled and told him my name. He said he wanted to text me amongst my days. A few days later, he asked, when you gonna let me take you out on a date? Friday after eight. And we had a great time. We hit the comedy club, bought a few drinks, talked about life. He was a side to be up in my space. He couldn't keep his hands and eyes in one place. I was a lady, I kept a smile on my face. Hill. This nigga asked me to come to the Hyatt Hotel to Netflix and chill. Now don't get me wrong, I was gonna fuck him, but he talked himself out the deal. I was gonna sit on his face and let him hit it from the back. Just now on the first date, because I ain't known like that. And we had a great time. Things was fine. I'm all about letting shit ride. I just wasn't trying to be his slide. He felt a certain type of way that I wasn't fucking on the first date. Together, he and I stay distance away. I live out west. He stays in Gwinnett. We both travel for work and rarely have time for sex. He enjoyed my spirit, my company, my looks. Got seduced when I told him I wrote a book. I had spit questions. He was amazed by my expression. He told me he was in the service and he had to leave soon. He live overseas. He love black women. Love my truth. But I've been through some heartbreaks. Dealt with some fuck boys in my past days. He was from New York, so he enjoyed my country ways. I was treating myself. He offered to take me out on a date. And I wish he would have played his cards right. Because I was trying to fuck on a second date. Because I've been chilling and focused on my dreams. I can't have no distractions. Yes, I'm human with needs. I'd rather have a piece of mind than a piece of ass. Thanks for your time and spending the cash. He was all in his feelings like, dang, mom. Why you got to be like that? Things was fine until it felt fake. I had to let that shit be known that I wasn't fucking on the first date.